Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with one of our last few personal breaks of 2020 Upper Deck Marvel Anime. Now I say last few because we do have a few straggler boxes coming throughout the week of personal breaks. However, we are all sold out, so unfortunately if you waited too long and you're interested in getting a box, we cannot get any more and we're all sold out. So I, I hate to break that news to you, but we do not have any more anime. However, in the future we will have more Upper Deck Marvel products. We have on order Marvel Ages, Marvel Annual, the Marvel Metal Universe for next year, and Marvel Black Diamond, which is an MCU product, Marvel Cinematic Universe rather than comics. So we will have more Marvel products in the future, of course, but we're all sold out of anime. And I know some people still ask about masterpieces. We've been out of masterpieces for a while. We don't have any of that either. But this one here is for Raimundo H from Texas. So thank you so much, Raimundo, for letting me open this on up for you. Now what you get in this box is aside from all those gorgeous Peach Momoko original art base cards, you get one artist autograph that could be Peach Momoko, could be JP Target, could be the uh, artist for the mechanized insert set as well. I don't think the idols insert set has auto artist autographs, but you can also get sketch cards all those, although those are pretty rare. You get those little capsule cards, which are rip cards. They have little minis inside. Some can be numbered. Some can just be the regular base. I did not uh, hear word from Raimundo. Oh, I also didn't ask. That's also on me, but I do not have permission to rip those capsule cards, so I'm going to be leaving those sealed. But if you want to see what some of those looks like, we did have a two case live stream of Marvel anime that's past Wednesday, and I also ripped open a lot of those capsule cards during our live stream because people were letting me rip while I was ripping their products. But anyways, let's get on into this box. I'm excited to check it out. Like I said, and we're getting down to our last few boxes here. So it's our last couple chances to see get more beautiful sketch cards. We did actually have a lot this past weekend. If you missed out on that live stream, that stream does have timestamps, or you could just go directly to my Instagram, which is linked down below. I selected some of the top sketches from the night, put those there. We had Fred Ian, we had some Clay Berlima, we had other artists that I couldn't read the signatures, but they were really gorgeous. I recommend you go check those out. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this box for Raimundo by snapping us into the corner. Let's see what we will find in here. So this isn't too big of a box. There are just five cards per pack. Um, I forget how many packs per box, maybe 24, but you don't get, or 16, there it is, 16 packs per box, says right there on the front. And I am going to be going through the base cards, even though they are horizontally oriented. I'm gonna be going through them vertically, because we have seen a lot of base cards. Like I said, if you wanna see these cards more in detail as well, make sure to go check out that live stream. But hey, good thing I kept my little spacer here. We do have the top stacks piece of Spider-Woman. Now the stacks are three different pieces, two acetate, one paper. The yellow one is the paper that is the bottom piece. Then you have the blue piece, which is the top piece. Magenta is the middle piece. And you put them all together and it makes a little 3D picture. So that's pretty cool. Although you can look at it without 3D glasses. And it makes like a little comic book and then Spider-Woman. In that example, there's 15 different ones. And that one, Spider-Woman's jumping out at you. We have mechanized Punisher insert, or also the four insert sets if you want to consider the capsule cards, the little gacha cards, their own insert set. The main inserts you have the kaijus, the mechanized, and the idols. Now I know some people are confused like what's up with the mechanized stuff? Well it's kind of like they're like little Gundams, which is pretty popular in Japan. Of course idols, J-pop, all that stuff is popular as well. And then kaijus is a very Japanese thing to go with the theme of Marvel anime. So that's, that's why those exist. Uh, the capsule cards is because of the capsule machines in Japan. Those are called the little gacha machines. G-A-C-H-A. -A. Not gacha like got you, but gacha. This one here is the Defenders. It is a five card rip card set, G1 through G5, but there are many, many more mini cards within. I keep moving my trash can far away. I don't know why. All right, trash can has been relocated and I'm ready to keep opening. I actually really love the set. I'm still not tired of it, even though I've opened through almost four cases now. We have a Mega Moon parallel of Grandmaster, because these cards are just so gorgeous. And it's always fun to hunt for more sketches. So it's just, I, I'm sad that it's coming to an end. I mean, we did open our fair share of it, but it would, it would have been awesome to have had more. But still, this is, I love the set. Peach Momoko actually is selling her original art. Arts. Most of them are gone. However, uh, not sure when Steven, if you're gonna watch this video, last time I checked, uh, Domino was still available. So if you're interested in purchasing the original Domino, you can message her on her website via email or on her Instagram. I may or may not have been a degenerate and pick one up. I may or may not have bought one for myself. Um, 
if I did happen to do that, whenever that package comes in, I will be opening it up on my personal channel. I'll link that right up here, Allie's Treasure Trove. Speaking of fine art and things like that, I actually have my first fine art unboxing tomorrow. I'm checking out really big, cool sketch card, which isn't a sketch. Like I said, it's actually fine art. I'm used to saying sketch card, but it's not a card. It's big, it's big. So that, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. I'm excited. I feel like I've ascended to another level of collecting. I also feel like I'm making a big mistake, but as long as I keep my wits about me, can't make too bad of a decision. Right? We have the blade middle piece stacks. So you do have like the 3D picture on the side and you'll, you'll put together like a little comic book cover on the right or the left. Left. I promise I know my left and right. I believe actually both Shatterstar and Domino were both still up for grabs. Surprisingly enough that Loki was still up too. But like I said, um, she has made it more public so I'm sure more people are like, hey, let me get that. So, um, Looks like we have our autograph here. We have Sunfire. I have not seen one of these before. Of course, it is a 90 card base set, so you're not going to see all of them. We have, this one is number 52 out of 120. Sunfire. Come on, sleeve. There we go. There are also short printed inserts. I know I mentioned the three inserts, four if you count the uh, capsule cards. Uh, there also are the chibi mini inserts and the hanafudas, but those aren't considered part of like a regular master set. That would be like a super master, but we have a chibi. Like I said, these are short printed. These are rare, just a couple of them per case. We have Miles Morales. That is number 15 of 65. Very cool short print chibi insert, Miles Morales. That's actually really cool. I hadn't seen him before. Very cute little Spider-Man here. I like that he's swinging. The little, the little strings swinging towards the uh, edge of the card. That's so cute. Congratulations to Raimundo on his new Miles Morales. A mechanized storm. We have a Kaiju Krakoa. Hint. Hint. What? Did somebody say something. It was me. We have the Hyper Mosaic Parallel of Scarlet Witch. We have the Mega Moon variant of Sentry. That Beta Ray Bill card is really cool. I'm actually going to go back and show that off. That just looks really cool. Look at that. That is just really cool looking. So many gorgeous cards. I couldn't, I would be hard pressed to pick a favorite. I really do like the Rogue. I think she looks adorable. But I don't know. There's so many good ones. Like this one, the She Hulk is absolutely gorgeous as well. We have Nick Fury, Hyper Mosaic. It looks like we're down to the last pack here already. For Raimundo, what will we get? See, there's the rogue. Look how cute she is. She's just so cute. She's like, Aah. we do have the Moon Knight bottom snacks piece. So I have noticed you do seem to be getting three stacks pieces per box. Uh, if you get a short printed stacks piece, you'll get four. That'll be like a bonus. Uh, usually it's two mechanized, one kaiju, one idols, or you can get like two idols or two kaijus and one less on the mechanized. So we did get three mechanized and so no idols here. Uh, I have noticed that's kind of the balance on the inserts. Three stacks always. I don't think I've seen less than three stacks, but I don't think I've seen a missing one either. But since we did get the three mechanized, I guess that stole the spot of one of the idols inserts because we did get a kaiju. We also got one capsule card. Uh, some boxes have two, some have one. 
I feel like uh, initially it seemed like most had one, but I think it's actually probably 50-50 of getting two or one per box. But let's do our recap here. We did very nice. Did did very nice. That makes uh, no sense. We did get a very nice short printed insert here. The Chibi Miles Morales. That one is number 15 of 65. So I think that's just probably a tier one, probably one in 90 packs or so. One in 70, one in 90, one of those. I don't remember where the Hanafuda base is one in 90 or the Chibi base is one in 90, but it's one of those. Unless I'm just completely wrong. If so, let me know in the comments down below. And then of course our one per box auto. We did get Sunfire here. That is number 52 out of 120. And then Sunfire is base card number 83. And then we did get two Mega Moons. I noticed unless you get like a short printed Mega Moon, you usually get two per box, Grandmaster and Sentry here. And then the Hyper Mosaic, four as usual. Nick Fury, Scarlet Witch, Black Bolt, and Kid Kaiju. And that will do it for this box. Thank you so much, Raymundo, for letting me open it up for you. Sorry we couldn't get a sketch, but definitely some really cool cards here. Very nice there on that chibi short print, especially the adorable. He's just so cute. Look at him, the little Miles Morales. So I hope you're as pleased with this as I am, because I think this is really nice. Really nice hit here from your box. And I hope you enjoyed the opening. But of course, I hope all of you out there watching enjoyed, not just Raymundo. So if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. And of course, leave your comments, thoughts, about this box or just about the product in general for me down below. I love reading those comments and engaging with you guys as much as I can. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us on our journey here on YouTube. So please go ahead and hit, hit that subscribe button as well. But that is it for me here. Like I said, we're getting down to our last couple boxes. Just three more anime box breaks remain. Two in one and then one in another for our live stream. And then the, the other, the two box one should be uh, either Wednesday or perhaps on Friday when I have a bit more time. But yes, we're getting down to the wire here. Almost out of Marvel anime for videos, but out of it for supplies. So it was very cool while it lasted. And I'm kind of getting sad that we're getting to the end here. But that is it for me here on Marvel anime. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Where we'll be opening up some more and actually our final box of Topps Gold Labeled Baseball. So stay safe, everyone. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!